hey guys welcome back to WP event manager in this video we're gonna take a look at how our zoom add-on works with our sell ticket add-on for our WP event manager core plugin firstly I'm gonna tell you about our sell ticket add-on what it does and how it integrates with our WP event managers core plugin and extend its functionalities so sell ticket add-ons has two dependencies mostly you have to install them first be, before you can actually use our sell ticket add-on uh, number one is the event registration add-on and number two is a commerce add-on in here we use event registration add-on to manage registrations to the event and we use WooCommerce for handling cart product and order details and such so i have already created a zoom meeting for us uh, in previous video so this is a meeting with registration we have created that in a previous video feel free to check that out that was about how our event registration add-on works with our zoom add-on so in previous video we talked about how our zoom add-on actually works with the event registration plugin and this is gonna come handy in this video as well so i will suggest you go ahead and watch that video before that and we have created this meeting on that video now we're gonna create a new event from here and as we have already explained how we can add an event with following details and what they mean now i'm gonna fill out these details and fast forward So if you notice carefully here we didn't actually set our registration limit or selected a zoom meeting from this drop down and i'm gonna show you why we didn't did that and explain it to you so let us scroll down here and here we see our ticket section this is here because we installed our sell tickets add-on so let us go and create some free tickets so by the way we can always create the same type of tickets from the front end side as well we will maybe show that off in another video at some later time so we have our ticket name enter number of tickets available let's set it to 100 tell your attendees so our this is basically our ticket description let us take this box it will show our event it will show our ticket title and description on the event page i am not going to set minimum tickets and maximum tickets limits let's add sales start date let's set it to today and time let's set it to tomorrow in time so let's set this to it will show our remaining ticket count in the event details page and we will set this to one ticket per customer so if you would see there is a zoom meeting drop down over here too so this is here cause our zoom add-on actually works with our sale tickets add-on seamlessly in that way we can actually bind a zoom meeting with the tickets as well but if we choose this this is not gonna uh show the meeting details on the single event details page so what i mean by that uh i'm gonna show you let me publish this event first if we click here and open our event details page so here we see our bare minimum event details page uh, if we binded an event with our meeting directly then we could see our meeting details on the sidebar in this description section but we don't see them all we see is our ticket information here so so basically there's two way we can actually sell an event either via tickets or either via woocommerce directly like integrating our event within the woocommerce product so if you don't want to do that what we can do we can create tickets over here like multiple types of ticket and sell them uh, for the event and they can join the meeting by using uh by purchasing a uh, ticket so what i mean by that let's go ahead and place an order and i will be able to demonstrate so let's select one 
and click order now here we have our WooCommerce card page with our ticket let's go ahead and check out and uh, here we have some billing details i'll fill those out and if you look closely in our right hand side there we have our registration details for the event so we need to fill this up and then if we scroll down to the bottom and place the order here we have our order confirmation page where it says order received and we have our order number date and email and stuff our total billing details so if we down if we come down here we see our order details our billing address below there and there we see our product and as we were able to see in our previous video when we showed how zoom work how our wp event manager works with woocommerce in there we were able to see a meeting joining link from the order details and the same we have here so think of this as a bi-directional way to sell events in your website either via woocommerce product listing or either using tickets so let's just go to our account section Here we have our account page so if we go over here in zoom meetings so here we see our zoom meeting the same result were available when we actually binded our meeting with an woocommerce product we were able to purchase it and then get access to the meeting same thing happens here but you don't need to set up an woocommerce product instead you can do like an event then bind the event to a ticket and then the same way you can uh, let user purchase the ticket and get access to the meeting as well so from here we can see our order number our date our status our meeting title and time and the join button so in the same way if we click orders then if we view the order and we can join the meeting from here as well as we were able to do when we uh, binded our meeting with WooCommerce in previous videos. So in short, let me explain again uh, what it what we can do and what we did. So we basically created a Zoom meeting, then we created an event. Under events, we created some tickets, and on ticket section, we added we chose a meeting to go with the ticket so they can get access to the meeting when they buy a ticket so that's how our zoom add-on works with the sell ticket add-on for our wp event manager score plugin this is a pretty useful feature and add-on if you want to like sell tickets to your user and offer them a meeting as a product so if you have any confusion or questions um drop a comment below we will try our best to help you out regarding that and if you like this video please like it a sub to the channel would be amazing and being that said i'm signing off thanks for coming along and i'll see you in the next one